66. So far, we have looked at receiving input signals from the input expander. You can also receive input signals locally through your MyMix unit. If you want to use local inputs, press the Settings button. Now second from the top, you will see Local Inputs and Outputs. In this menu, navigate to Input Mode. At the moment, we have None selected. This is correct if you are not using any local inputs. To activate your local inputs, press Input Mode and then scroll to Stereo, Dual Mono, or Mono Only. Let's select Dual Mono. Now, you will also see Input 1 and Input 2 show up in the menu with the name. These names are used to identify audio signals on the network. Highlighting and selecting the channel will give you the option to rename it. Move the cursor back with the clear button, and then use the scroll wheel to rename your track. This is the name that everyone on the network will see When you are done, press Save. If you are using a condenser microphone, this is also where you would activate phantom power 